So I've actually had this question asked quite a lot. I have this CPU and this GPU. Which system component is actually my bottleneck? Okay, I want to answer this question once and for all because the answer quite simply is, I don't know. Depends, right? Let me explain. When you have a computer, whether it's a pre-built computer or maybe you even built it yourself, maybe you kind of upgraded it as the years went by, you will always get to a point where it feels like something in your computer is holding you back. Something is bottlenecking you. And yes, that is mostly the case. Like, let's say, for example, you have an i5-10400F, right? Which is a very decent i5 CPU. It's the 10th generation Intel. It's a pretty good CPU. And you have a 1660 Super. Then, yes, if you are playing a graphically demanding game, like, let's say, Cyberpunk 2077 or Red Dead Redemption 2, the new graphics card, yes, it's gonna be holding you back. If, on the other hand, you're playing a CPU-based title, like, let's say, Counter-Strike, then your GPU might not be holding you back as much as your CPU. And then you have your RAM. Like, do you have 8 gigabytes of RAM, 16 gigabytes of RAM, 32 gigabytes of RAM? Do you have... 3200 megahertz DDR4 or do you have 5000 megahertz DDR5? Like, you know, there's a lot of things that you can think about when it comes to bottlenecking. But the real question is, what are you doing? What do you use the system components for? If you are playing just, let's say, Counter-Strike, then I would say, okay, try and get the best CPU you can and then you can work towards a better GPU and just have like 16 gigabytes of RAM. That's literally enough. Like you can get 300 plus FPS in Counter-Strike with like 16 gigabytes of RAM. DDR3 may perform just a little bit worse than DDR4, but it's like, it's minimal up to a point where you won't really notice it in a lot of applications and in a lot of use cases. Like I've seen also a bunch of people asking me should I have my RAM set at 3000 megahertz or should I try and uh, you know downscale it a little bit to like 2100 megahertz and while the higher megahertz clock speed on a RAM module is good it's always good to have you know a little bit faster memory it doesn't really matter all that much when it comes to games. You might get like 1-2% of you know, your performance back or lose some of that if you actually go down from 3200 to let's say 2100 megahertz, right? It's not as much as you normally would think it would actually make a difference. Now let's say you play a game like Cyberpunk 2077. That is a very graphically demanding game compared to other games like let's say esport titles you know like counter-strike or league of legends or dota or whatever right then i would say try and get a better gpu something that's a i don't know uh 40 60 40 70 ish at least if you are on a budget right if you can afford it obviously you know go for what you can afford but if you can if you are on a little bit more of like a tight budget and you have enough to get like a 40 60 40 70 then in most cases you should be fine if you're only playing on 1080p if you have a 2K monitor, you know, that's more variations to that equation. If you have a 2K monitor, then get something like, let's say, a 4070 Ti or like, uh, you know, a 4080 or something, you know? Or you can get something like, let's say, on the AMD side is like the RX 6800 XT or like a 7800 XT, right? For 2K. And then if you want to play 4K, you can just bump that up more. You, like, the more graphically demanding the game is, and the higher the resolution you want to play at, the more better components you're going to need to be able to play that game. That's just the facts, unfortunately. Now, if you want to find out exactly what is holding you back in specific situations, there is a website for it, and I'll put it up on the screen. It's actually kind of interesting like it's not a, a be all end all answer to that equation but it does kind of give you like an idea if you have like a very obvious bottleneck in your computer but otherwise usually i would tell people that your pc is fine or you need an entire upgrade or like a new upgrade kit or something like that but in most cases that it's fine i just got a, a comment recently a guy had a i think it was an rx 6600 and an i5 I think it's a 10400F. I, I, I forget, right? But he asked me, like, what is his bottleneck when it comes to Counter Strike? He can only get, you know, 120 to 200 FPS. And my answer was, 
not really anything maybe your cpu like if you upgrade your cpu you might get like a little bit better performance but overall your system is pretty stable for what it is and how much fps do you need what is your budget you know what can you actually afford to do like it's it's difficult for me to say go buy yourself a 4080 you know if you only have a budget for a 3050 like I would always say, if you can afford it, go for it. Just buy whatever you need to buy. You know, buy a better CPU, buy a better GPU, buy more RAM, buy a good motherboard, buy a very good power supply, you know, whatever the case may be there. But in most cases, you only have a budget for a limited set of components. And that's why when you comment on one of my videos, especially my, my PC videos, you want to ask me a question, um, you know, or something like, if a specific component is going to bottleneck you or... If you need to upgrade your CPU or GPU or RAM or motherboard or whatever, give me a budget, first of all. Second of all, try to tell me why you want to upgrade. Like, what is the, 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 the need case? Because in most cases, the computer components that you have might actually be enough. And that is it. That's all you need to do. If you want to add anything, you can just pop it down in the comments down below. Obviously, it's just easier for me to actually answer you guys and actually communicate with you guys there. But uh, overall, I want to say, in most cases, you don't need to upgrade. In other cases, what's your budget? What can you afford? All right. With that being said, I really hope you guys enjoyed. Just like a small five, seven, five, six, seven minute talk. Um, just wanted to, you know, clear the air a little bit. All right. If you want to watch more videos that YouTube thinks that you would really like, go check out the video on your screen. And uh, with that being said, I'll see you in the next one. Peace out, guys.